Well, I got news for you. We're on the air. Oh, I started our recording. <laughs> All right. It's okay. 7 o'clock. We go on the air at are 7 o'clock. You have got right. to stop sniping people like that. Because I love doing it, that. But it takes away about from this the quality of like My taxes are, are too low. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God it's how Gore. My taxes are too low. Yeah. Turn your microphone on, Dickie. It is on. All right. Mercy? My microphone Shut is on. Shut that door. It was shut. Thank God for Florida. <laughs> <laughs> now that one I like a lot. I love that one. That was My good. favorite I kept laughing about all night long was the recycled tree. Oh, God. I just hope he's not going to be here at a time when I have to be at work. Oh, you should take off. You should call in sick. No, I'm sure it'll be a formal <laughs> evening. Uh, well, God, I hope so. Are we going to formally start this thing or what? We are. Oh, Go okay. ahead. All We're right. on the air. Percy, would you like? Uh, no, I have a Sweetwater 420 in the, in the freezer what right is now. That? To, it's an IPA. Oh, okay. It's very nice. Tonight, I'm going to demonstrate how to pour a beer. Into a, into a frozen glass. I've got one sitting downstairs in my freezer. Just where you, another where are you getting the beer? Uh, just another helpful hand. Just, I figured frozen. you were coming. Oh, these are all mine. Oh, no. I figured you got... I could weasel at least one beer out of them. You know? Just another helpful hint from your friends at ColbertRadio.com. So we are live streaming across the World Wide Web. This is ColbertRadio.com on Monday, February 15th, President's Day. I am the voice of the cutting edge with his crosshairs on the hypocrisy of the political left. Percy Hugo, political director for the show. Across from me, our bon vivant, contrarian, and general thinker of signage. Contrarian? <laughs> yes. yes I Mr. Dickie Storm. Dickie, say hello. Thank you, Percy. You're hello to everyone welcome, out there buddy. on the World Wide Webs. Everyone out there on the webs currently. And, uh, you know, there's people on the webs that aren't actually watching us. Um, They're out there on the webs doing other things. How do they do that? I have no idea. And the, the host of the show, the man with his name on the marquee, the man you will find mostly centered in the camera, whom I'm looking at right Actually, now. Actually, in the lower right-hand corner of your in screen. In the lower right-hand corner of your screen, the incredibly good-looking uh, boss of ours, Mr. John Colbert. Say hello, John Colbert. Thank you. Thank you, fellas. Welcome, mm -hmm. Dickie. Welcome, Percy. This is where I like to be, in the lower right-hand corner, next to my lower companion. <laughs> we have to be Percy tonight. <laughs> I swear to God, I think Lance just pulled up. Well, he's late. Uh, I've been messing around. I've been going. I, I want to point something out to, to all of our fans out there. We have something coming up soon. We do. We well, have our that? our first anniversary. And what day all is right. that? Was that paper? Yeah. What is the first anniversary? Paper, because that's all you guys are going to get. A nice note paper for me oh, saying, it's hey, not thanks a lot, guys. Green on one side, gray on the other. No. Oh, it's okay. just... It's handwritten, and that's all it is. Thanks for giving up part of one seventh of your week. Thank you very much. You're it's, welcome. Um, uh, no, March 29th will be the first anniversary. We'll actually have done this for a year. This yeah. year has flown by. Well, here's the deal. This time we're going to do it again at the Charleston Yacht Club. But this time we'll get it out in the newsletter and else. We'll get an audience. You know, when we did the uh, Crawl Awards, had a bunch of people at the Yacht Club say, why didn't you tell us we would have come? Well, we need to do it upstairs. I think you're right. Just upstairs do it upstairs in the bar, in the pool room. In the pool room? In the pool room. Don't I think, think that's that genius. In the pool room. Genius. Absolutely. We'll all sit around the pool table. Okay. We'll play. We'll while play we're pool. Doing. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. You don't mind showing your face on camera? It might get on camera. It might. The microphones would definitely pick us up. We could shoot pool. And celebrate, and then we just talk about darts, the kind of crap we did all year. And drink beer. Throw yeah. darts, drink beer. Yeah, I got the idea. We'll have a best of show. And we'll re re recall the best moments of Colbert Radio. Although we're not actually going to go back. And no, right, we don't have that. We'll just talk about we'll Remember that time that. when you no. said, you know, fuck. But I have that would take forever to Lance. Lance. Hey, Lance. Lance. Come on in, Lance, and have a seat. Why don't you know I've been working for you today. Nice. Okay, good. I've been putting together those jokes for you. Mm -hmm. See if you can you see if you want to use them in your act. Uh, Lance Morrison just joined us, ladies and gentlemen. He's always welcome. Always look forward to hearing from Lance. I hope you did some more of his off the wall stuff. Um, so uh, okay, here's the things we got going. We have Al Gore's coming to town. I'm excited. We're gonna have to do some Al Gore's coming to town. We're gonna have to do something about that. I should make up a song. Make it feel warm. Make it feel welcome. One for Al Gore. We will be here because of course he. Invented the internet. That's true. That's true. That's right. He sees. It was like well, I often, I often wonder if that's really true, or if this guy's just getting the raw end of the deal on that. I mean, he didn't actually stand up and say, "I invented the internet." I, there's, we'll find out. Did he? You know, we let's have ask that Google guy. Let's get a ruling. 
Al Gore invented the internet. Third third hit down. Let's see. Uh, Technically, did Al Gore claim that he invented the internet? Uh, pop up locked. Ooh. Let's allow pop ups. Uh, false. By Al Gore. False. Yes. It's an urban legend. I think Basically. so. But it's a good one. It's here's a good the, one. And he has, the, he's, uh, has he's had no luck in refuting it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it was, he was on Wolf Blitzer, and here's what he said. During my service in the United States Congress, I took the That's initiative bad. in creating the Internet. I took the initiative in moving forward a whole range of initiatives that have proven to be important to our country's economic growth and environmental protection. Comma improvements in our educational system. He is big on tooting his own horn, though, isn't he? You know, Al, I'll tell you. Listen, listen to me, Al. You were full of crap when you were the vice president. And you're full of it crap. It seems like we've started political already. This is I, just, what are you talking about? It's, it's hypocrisy in man like well, form. That's, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Dickie's got some great ideas mm-hmm. for some sides. No, um, you, God, guess what happened today? What? Evan Bai announced oh, that he is the You get a chance to guess. Huh? You said yes. <laughs> you got a chance to guess. Yeah, really. Don't well, was I talking to them. I was talking oh, to you. Well, yeah, you didn't give them a chance either. So uh, that would be a little he awesome. He didn't know. I said, okay, guess what started. happened today, guys? The Super okay, Bowl? we don't know. Oh, uh, what? What? Tell us. Evan, oh, wow, he's really hot there. Boy, yeah. that microphone. Evan Bai has re- is retiring from the United States Senate. Yeah. Guess third time's not a charm. I guess there's, you know, there's no hiding. I don't think there's any real love loss between him, Harry Reid, Barack Obama, Nancy Pelosi. Uh, he's, but he voted right down the line with them. The he, ship is sinking. Yeah. The rats uh, yeah. Are running. Well, okay. You were. I didn't want to break that little metaphor. Out. I I'm just sure. think he's. I just rats think he's had from enough. A sinking ship. Uh, he's he 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 played ball with him, thinking that he was going to be mm-hmm. pulled into the inner circle, and he was not. No, he but wasn't. on the upside, I I did hear that, and. Um, Supposedly his campaign chest has thirteen million dollars in it, so Still I don't know that, how much oh that yeah. that is. Well, get to actually, keep. he doesn't get to keep it anymore. Oh really? Not unless it's grandfathered in. If it was in there before a certain time, they did pass I'm a rule at some he's point. He's walking with a lot of that money. Yeah, he might. Some of it might be grandfathered yeah. in because it used to be they got to keep it. It's not, not only is he getting out at a good time, but he's getting out. Rich. This is one of the reasons yeah. I wasn't surprised when Rudy Giuliani got out of the Republican nomination. He had sixty million dollars in his in his campaign war chest, and he got beat by John McCain in the one place he was supposed to make a stand. He walked away with most of that money. Yeah, like John, John That's McCain. why Rudy Giuliani should have been president. <laughs> That's right. It was genius. He knows how to hang on to money. He's smart to get out. I will right, we'll be right back with CoverRadio.com. <laughs> 